and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Network. We back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing, back in this thing. Like could crack in this thing. I don't know why my angle's like this. That's it right there. That's the angle we know and love. Right there. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you use, some knowledge you can't get in college. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more what we got going on here. Hit the subscribe button, become a part of this Trapper Market. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all say tap in for the latest and the greatest what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T R A P N E W S N E T W O R. X. That's Trap News Network, man. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game 6. Rich Trapper Worth More Than Money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles start from scratch and a nightmare before Christmas. They out now as well as my newest project. I'm still better off without you. Make sure you get into that if you ain't got into that. You feel me? Uh, mention me. That's the latest single. Get into it. If you ain't heard it, go hear it. You feel me? Um, $100. $50 two different ways. Drop a comment because the best comment of the month of March will receive a $50 cash up as well. The top comment between now and 7,000 subscribers will receive a $50 cash up as well. The top commenter between now and 7,000 subscribers. If we get to 7,000 subscribers between now and April 1st, it's going to be $100. And it's looking like we're going to get there, man. Y'all been pushing this envelope, pushing this meter, pushing this line, and it's looking like we might get there. So that'll be love, and I will up at $100. We are 200, uh, maybe 200 and Eight subscribers away, something like that. Either way it go, man. We finna jump into this content without no further ado's or don'ts. <clears throat> we taking it to the brown side, to the Rasa. Lazy Boy, who is a Norteño, meaning he's a Mexican uh, gang member from Northern California. Lazy Boy on Lefty Gun Plays Come Up, his city being, quote, game banged out. We finna jump into this content without no further ado's or don'ts. Shout out to Lefty Gun Play. We got a lot of love for him. And now we getting to learn about Lazy Boy. So I know that they might be enemigos, but... Here at TNN Trap News Network, we don't condone any type of pull-up, spin, opposite, walk down. We don't got nothing to do with that, big dog. We just here to give you some news. You can use some knowledge. You can't get in college. Three, two, one. Let's go. These uh, these Arab kids, they're they're in like an Afghan gang, basically, and they're from the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to them, and I'm kind of realizing that like they would like to do music with the rappers from Northern California, mm -hmm. but to them. It's kind of like too much of a risk because if they start with one rapper, yeah, they're yeah. basically tied in with them and can't yeah. with any of the other ones. So for them, then it, it kind of becomes like, oh, I'm just not going to do features yeah. with anybody. Yeah, the way I look at it is like, if you're just a civilian, I don't care who you do shit with. I'm not going to get mad. Mm. You know what I mean? But if you're like choosing sides, then that's different, you know? You're like outside thugging with them or you're like talking shit about the people they talk shit about, like, like laughing with them and shit like that. That's different, you know? Is coming to L.A. nerve-wracking for you at all? I was nervous about the interview. How come? Never did one. Mm. It's my first interview. I'm surprised you didn't uh, get I, I, back told, in the day. I told your, your coworker or your employee, I told him uh, that I've been hit up by almost every California interview there is, but I always told myself I'm only doing no jumper, oh, and shit. then I'll do the other ones. Oh, wow. I would have done it a while back if oh, I knew Oh, but I, I do want to say shout-out Vlad TV because they did hit me a while back. Really? But... I was just dealing with shit in my life and I just wasn't, didn't care. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, but I hope he doesn't think that like I didn't want to do it because I never really said anything. I just said, okay, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. But it was like bullshit going on, like street shit, just all that. You know what I mean? Really? Uh, just, yeah, just a bunch of shit. Yeah. So there's a lot of drama around your neck of the, way, of the woods? Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, and like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, like, so in other places, somebody, this is what my homie told me because he's been all over the country. You know, uh, shout out my boy Money. Uh, he he goes to other states, and he said, uh, when you go to other states, people meet you and they automatically show you love. Mm. They only don't like you if you give them a reason to. Mm -hmm. But in Northern Cali, that's real. When you go, yes, yeah, heart. Okay, you done eating dinner, pop? Okay, ask your brothers to clear your plate and go wash your hands. All right. 
homie don't care nothing about me doing a video. Nothing at all. If y'all hear some noise in the background, I got some furniture being put together, man. I spent some good chilling on the kids' bedrooms today. So let's get back into this video, though. Oh, that's what I would say. When you step outside of your comfort zone in the five-mile vicinity of your neighborhood, your territory, wherever you might be from, you actually venture out into the world. You'd be surprised at how many people like you just for who you are, and they don't really not like you unless you give them a reason not to like you. People actually show more love than hate. You actually embrace more than pushed away. The people who love you, the people who hate you the most, oftentimes come from your actual inner circle in your area. People are not don't like you and you got to give them a reason to like you, you know yeah what I'm there's a lot of truth though. yeah yeah he like, just told me that yesterday yeah it's like everybody is so concerned with their position and how well respected they could be that everybody automatically is kind of like a threat to that yeah and, and especially in my city or just in northern cali period but i'll speak on my city like it's so many egos mm. it's a lot of people out there too you know not as big as la but it's like I think like a little over a million or something, like 1.2 or something like that. Mm. But everybody got an ego, you know? Right. And if you're looking good, they don't like that. If they don't hang out with you and you're shining, they're not going to like that, you know? Right. I saw another clip where you were talking about how people have a grudge against San Jose in general. Like people, mm -hmm. people think y'all are. It's because in the Bay Area, well, there's probably a few reasons, but in you're the in Bay You're in Oppie City? Yeah. You guys a lot of ops over there? Yeah, like, hell like people yeah. just kind of look at you guys as mm -hmm. being the bad guys, you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, so uh, San Jose hella gang banged out, right? Mm -hmm. Now, other cities in the Bay, um, they're like, you'll get pressed up too, but it's different though. You know, in San Jose, it's like, like you know, uh, like, it's just all gang banging. It's not really that in other cities. Other cities is more like, you know, like blocks, neighborhoods and shit. Mm -hmm. But San Jose is like the only major city in the Bay where it's all gang banging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the Bay, you know. And you guys get into it with like black gangs as well, or is it all your own shit? No, nah, like we're we're cool with like like blacks unless something happens between us, which it can, you know. If right. something happens, I mean that's what anybody. But just off the rip, no, no, we're all off the rip. We're gonna be cool. Like as long as nobody's done nothing to each other, it's all love. Mm. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Yeah, you'll see, yeah we kick it with them. Like yeah. So uh, it just depends on individuals. Yeah. From your perspective. Who are the Mexican rappers that you f with the most out of California? Uh, shit, all the homies. Um, I, you know, like there's a lot of homies popping off. You got Rico Too Smooth. Um, you got Asito, GB, uh, rest in peace, TYF. Um, uh, Babyface Wood, Free Free Willie's locked up. Um, there's a lot that are like popping though, like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when they go somewhere, people are walking up to them like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think it's growing a lot? Because I feel like it's Hell growing yeah. in, Hell yeah. mm -hmm. in Southern California. That's yeah. like the, that scene, all these different podcasts yeah. and Instagram I, accounts yeah. and <clears throat> more and more artists. Yeah. Even Thizzler, they're posting like everybody now. They used to only do Bay, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And then I feel like you and um, uh, the full community, you guys help. Thizzler will post, I wasn't going to say it, but I'm going to say it, bro. Thizzler will post whoever will pay. And the Thizzler dude don't care about artists. I said it, bro. The Thizzler dude don't care about artists. All bro care about is trying to get some quick chili and we'll hit you up. Hey, I ain't heard from you from a while. Just trying to see if you got anything going on on an obvious copy and paste situation on, mass, on a mass text. I would never again. I paid. I'm speaking from experience. I put money into promotion and marketing and all kind of stuff when it comes to my music, blah, blah, blah. I paid a lot of people and a lot of things went great. I paid a few people and things went wrong. Thizzler, waste of money. I would never advise anybody paying for Thizzler. Before you ever pay for a Thizzler package, put that money into your own YouTube ads, Google promotions and all that kind of stuff like that and build your own channel, Instagram ads and all that kind of stuff. And I guarantee you will touch more people than if you pay for Thizzler. Don't nobody care about that. Bro, don't do nothing for you. That a lot too. Like shine some light on us, yeah. Yeah, it's coming together. Even though we've never been here until today. But, but do you feel like you have a fan base in Southern California? You feel like it's mostly North. I get a bunch of DMs from Southern Cali, uh, but of course Northern Cali's stronger, mm -hmm. you know. But you know, and then like the states around it, I get a lot of love. Yeah. Do you actually bother to check out all the rappers from LA and shit? Like yeah, I always watch your channel. I always watch your interviews. Yeah, I watched it. Uh, I always watch them normally, but especially because I know I was coming here, I watched all your interviews just to kind of do my homework on 
what it's going to be like. Yeah. But so even if you're like, like you're saying that you wouldn't really listen to a South side or whatever, like do you still tap in and like figure out what a lefty gun play sounds like just so you well, know what's well, going on? Well, I follow you guys. So right. I'm always interested in what's going on. Yeah. Right. So I'm, 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 I'm in the loop. Yeah. You impressed by lefties coming up the past couple of months? Yeah. Yeah. Any, anybody who comes up like that, especially a Mexican, mm. like, uh, we, uh, Hey, that's love, bro. That's big, because historically speaking, the Nathaniel and the Southsiders hate each other. That is huge love. I respect that. We, you know, I mean, we all got it hard, but North California Mexicans, we got it, I feel like, a little harder. Right. You know? But he's he's said that he basically can't work with anybody from the North. And, that's normal? And I, I wouldn't work with him or none of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't think that that shit would be better if that kind of changed where like people were able to work together um i don't i don't know if it'd be better um i mean anything anything's possible but now, this is what i say words over whoop these big dog words over whoop these big dog they have an entirely different situation as far as the uh the mexican gangs when it comes to their politics and all that so for him to do a song with Glefty Gunplay would have to be sanctioned by higher revs. It'll probably go all the way up to the penitentiary, considering that he's a northerner and Lefty's a southerner. But I can respect the fact that he said, you know, he gave him love for being another Mexican rapper, so forth and so on. But he's like, ah, we're not going to cross too many boundaries. Not going to cross too many boundaries, because, again, he has to live with the consequences of those decisions. And sometimes politics are better left alone. I respect it. I respect it. But I can respect that he also showed him love, too. Just me, though, because there's certain things that, that have happened and shit. Mm. So I can never do that. Because, all right, when when Lefty first starts doing interviews, there's another rapper named Roddy Rax from around like similar type of area mm -hmm. and like people right away were asking like could you guys do a song together and lefty's basically saying like nah we're not like super ops but there's people associated with him there's people that i'm close to don't get along with each don't other along. so there was like reasons why they wouldn't be able to work together but then i guess like the business of it and like people just kind of helped make it cool and they ended up working together and it really only took like a month or two after yeah. they started doing interviews for that shit to happen yeah. and i feel like that's probably a good it's thing it's probably like the supporters wanted it plus nothing serious probably happened between their people yeah like nobody died it's like a certain level of beef yeah. that you just mm -hmm. can't get past yeah right? it's a certain line yeah mm, interesting all right man that's that we're gonna go ahead and slide up out of here that's um Lazy Boy speaking on Lefty Gunplay. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Become part of the Trap Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all say tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Some knowledge you can't get in college. Big dog. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper Game 6. Rich Trapper worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles start from scratch in the nightmare before Christmas. They both out now as well as my newest project. I'm still better off without you. That's out now too. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X, that's Trap News Network. Find me on all streaming platforms. Uh, game six, man, get into that. Game six, get into that. I don't know what I was going to say. I, I lost it, whatever. Red dot, slide it to the left. We up out there to the next one, man. It's free avenue. Angel until he's free, and we gone.